today, all around the world, people remember the events that led up to the armistice signing on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, all those years ago in 1918. On Armistice Day in 1918, there were still 58,129 New Zealand troops in the field. An additional 10,000 troops were training in New Zealand. Our troops were involved in actions as recently as a week prior to the Armistice, most notably the actions on the 4th of November, which liberated the town of Lurkenwa from German troops. With many others, we stood this morning to remember what led up to Armistice Day and to remember the ultimate sacrifice made by so many then and by so many since then. Armistice Day is a monument to victory. It is also a symbol of failure. We won a war and lost a peace. It is a tribute to those who died that their neighbours might live without the fear of aggression. It is an indictment of those who lived and forfeited their chance for peace. Modern war does not spare the victor or the vanquished. It visits destruction on both alike. The only complete assurance for us surviving a World War III is to halt it before it starts. To me, there is no joy in memorial service such as the ones held today, an awful lot of pride, a feeling of immense gratitude, and I hope a strong desire never to see the world engulfed in conflict again. Today we remember the sacrifices of so many. The duty we owe, not to ourselves alone, but to the many dead who died to gain our freedom for us, is to make this world a place where freedom can live and grow into the ages. Thank you.